Are you in need of a miracle? So many people are today, and oftentimes Christians don't know how to obtain their miracle. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to create a miracle. And that's right, you heard me. You create the miracle. That's our topic for today. Get ready to learn about healing, how to activate your faith, see your miracle, and keep your healing. Understand how to accurately use the prophetic and healing power of your words to create your miracle. Discover what the Bible says today on Empowered for Healing and Miracles with Becky Dvorak, as together we fulfill the Great Commission with God's healing power. Hello everybody, this is Becky Dvorak, and I welcome you to Empowered for Healing and Miracles. Are you in need of a miracle? So many people are today, and you know what? Many Christians don't know how to obtain their miracle from God. Well, I'm going to teach you how today by studying the Word of God, and it's, you know what? This teaching is very basic. It is so foundational, and you've heard all these scriptures before. You've heard them probably since you were a very young child, but never was it taught to you in a way that you are the one creating the miracle. And so our scriptures for today, for this message, how to create a miracle, come from the very first four verses in the Bible. It's been there all the time, and we just never saw it in this manner. But God is a God of creation, and He created us in His mere image, the image of the Father, Son, Elohim. We've been created in the mere in the mere image of Elohim. And, and you know what? He is a faith being, and He created us like Him in His image on this earth to be faith beings. And everything we do, we are to emulate our Father. We are to emulate Jesus. We are to emulate the Holy Spirit. We are to be like our God. He is our Father. We are His children, and we are to be like Him. And part of what he created us to be our faith beings, and faith beings create, and we create with our words, we create with faith-filled actions, and so today it's about how to create a miracle. And I want to read our scriptures for today, and they come from Genesis 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're the first four verses of the Bible. I told you, it's been there all the time, and we've heard these verses over and over and over again, but so often it was not brought into a personal level where we are the ones that are now to do the creating on this earth. Let's, let's read this. Now you hold on, you don't go anywhere, you listen to this, and you're going to go like, wow, it's been there all the time. Everything I have needed, it's right here. It's always right in the Word of God. Genesis 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we'll start with verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I told you, you've heard this before. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Let's look at this situation. This is a scene. This is the creation of the world as we know it. And, and it says, in the beginning, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know what? God was creating the earth for us. He was getting ready for the most important creation of all, which was us, but he couldn't start with us first. He had to have a safe place for us. He had to have a place that we could inhabit, a place where we could physically live. And so this is this whole creation, this whole creation of the earth, of the of the world as we know it, was for us. It was for our well-being. And and this is just so precious of our Lord to give us his formula, believe it or not for a miracle in the very four first verses from God's Word, Genesis 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's been here, it's been here all the time for us to see, but we just haven't had the revelation of it before. 
But now today's a new day and we and we're getting the revelation for us now. And so I love this. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know what? I don't know what's all going on in your life, but God does know. Maybe you're like this. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. Maybe you feel like your life is in darkness right now. Maybe you're having a hard time seeing the light of God in your life. Maybe the situation you're in, maybe there's a sickness or a disease on you. Whatever the situation is, maybe it's, maybe it's a marital problem. Maybe it's some other type of problem that you just can't seem to break free from. You're living in the curse and you know, you know this isn't from God, but you don't know how to obtain that miracle. Well, God has done everything he's going to do for us. And, and Jesus paid the price and he delivered us from the curse by becoming the curse. And so now the responsibility is in our hands. Look at your hands. Do you know that God created you to create? Do you know that he created you to create? Now we don't need to create another sun, do we? We don't need to create the stars and the moon and all of that. That's, that's not where I'm going at in this at all. You listen up and you hear, your life may be like verse two, the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. You may be going through such a difficult time. You may, your body may be racked with sickness and disease and it's void of hope. It's empty. It seems like there's no hope for you. It's, it's dark. You're living in darkness. You're living with, you've got the shadow of death on you and you don't know how to break free from it. But God says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For your miracle, the very first thing you need is God. You need God. And I'm telling you, those that are born again, those that believe in their heart that Jesus is who he says he is and confess him as their savior, you are born again. You are born again. And with that comes a covenant a blood covenant by the blood of Jesus. We have a blood covenant with the Father that cannot ever be broken. And this blood covenant includes healing, miracles, creative miracles, deliverance, having your daily needs met, all of these wonderful things. These are part of a covenant that we have with the Father. But in order to have access to this blood covenant and that these things are your spiritual inheritance you first need to be right with god you need a right you need to be in right standing with god and so in the beginning of your miracle whatever it is whatever miracle it is you have need of you first need god who do you need in the beginning of your miracle you need god God. And if you're already a born again believer, you are already have a covenant with the father and that miracle, that healing is yours. And so we are going to learn how to be responsible because Jesus has done everything he's going to do. He's paid the price. And now that responsibility belongs to us. And so here we go. Are you ready? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God, who is the spirit of God? The spirit of God is Holy Spirit. He is the creative dunamis power of God. And healing and miracles are his terrain. And so those are the first steps and we are going to continue on with this message and get deeper into how you create your own miracle when we come back after this short break. And so we're going to break and, and, and you just stay tuned because you don't want to miss this. This is life changing message for you. And so don't go anywhere and get ready, get, get ready and hear this and your life will be changed. Get Becky Dvorak's book, Conquering the Spirit of Death, 
The spirit of death, it's a demon, it's a deadly demon, and it's, and it's out to steal, to kill, and to destroy us. Through this book, you will understand how to experience and enforce the resurrection power of Jesus. Come into agreement with the spirit of life. Understand that you were created to win. Discover how to use the weapons of warfare that God has equipped you with. Understand how to prophesy life over yourself. Find out how to speak healing into every situation. Learn how to resurrect dreams that God has placed on your heart. Every chapter of the book ends with questions to help you digest the teaching and powerful prayers to help you implement God's blessings and promises for your life. It's very important that I equip you and teach you how to overcome the spirit of death in these last days so that you can win. Log on to authorbeckydvorak.com to find this and many more great products. Becky Dvorak is an author, healing evangelist, prophetess, and dynamic preacher of the gospel. Through her ministry, she spreads an infectious faith for the miraculous. I have witnessed the blind see, the deaf hear, the mute speak. I'm here to help you heal in Jesus' name. Becky has learned how to enforce God's supernatural power, and she wants to share that with you. For more information, go to Becky Dvorak's website and follow her on Facebook. Welcome back to Empowered for Healing and Miracles. Today I'm teaching you how to create a miracle. And this is good news because so often we are looking and waiting upon God to move. And according to scriptures, Jesus has done all that he's going to do. And now the responsibility is in our hands. It's in our hands. And that's good news because you can do something about that situation that you are facing. Amen. I think that's joyful news. And so God created us to be like him and he is a faith being and he created us to be faith beings as well. And he's given us supernatural weapons called faith and the, and the power of our words. And we put faith in action and you're going to see how this all comes about. And it's beautiful. It's wonderful. And it's been here in the scriptures all the time. The very first four verses in the Bible teach us how to create our own miracle. Amen. And so in the beginning of your miracle, you need God. That's verse one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering. The Spirit of God is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the creative dunamis power of God. And you need Him on the scene. And you know what? In this portion of Scripture, the Holy Spirit is on the scene. And the Holy Spirit is hovering. I love that word hovering. Hovering has different meanings. And I'm going to share two of the meanings with you. Hovering, mean, hovering means to cherish. Don't you love that? I love the thought of Holy Spirit cherishing. He's in, in this portion of scripture, they are creating a world that we can live in. And Holy Spirit is cherishing over that creative miracle that that's taking place, the creation of our world. And, and whatever it is you are needing from Holy Spirit, he's, if you're a believer, he's cherishing you. He's hovering over you. He's hovering over you. Let's continue on. There, there's another word for hovering, and hovering also means to incubate. Now, in the children's home, my husband had all kinds of chickens and, and things like that. And yes, we, we used them to feed the children with. And so, but we saw eggs. You know, the children in the home picked eggs all the time, and you know, they that was their breakfast. But I'm telling you, um, these eggs, I love it. I, I, saw, I saw the incubation period over and over and over again for so many years, and I love it. In, in each egg, look, think of an egg. That egg has the, has the potential of becoming a miracle, transforming into a miracle if certain things happen to it. It has the potential to turn into life, right? A little baby chick or whatever is inside of that egg, it has... It will transform into, in this situation, that little baby chicken. But certain things have to happen. It first needs to be fertilized. You know what your miracle is fertilized with? The love of God. You know, and that really brings home the cherishing message 
of the word hovering to me, the love of God. Well, this love of God is not only cherishing over you, loving you, being loving and giving all he had for you so you can obtain your miracle, but he's also incubating. The spirit of God is incubating. He's keeping that miracle warm. And there's certain things that have to happen. What would happen? Let me ask you, what would happen if if the mother chicken is sitting on this on this nest of eggs and mama chicken says, ah, I'm tired of this. This is boring. This is taking too long. It's not happening fast enough for me. And she gets up in a huff and 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 walks away. What's going to happen to that nest of eggs? I can tell you what's going to happen to them. Like I said, we had many chickens and they still do at the children's home in Guatemala. And so what would happen if if a mama chicken was lazy and didn't do her job? Those eggs would rot. That miracle would rot. That life inside of it would rot and die. It would die and rot. Maybe that's where you are. Maybe that's where you are in this miracle process. Maybe you were like that mama mama chicken and said, ah, I've had enough of this. I don't want it anymore. It's taken too long. Enough of this. I gave God a chance. It's taking too long. This faith stuff doesn't work. It's too long. And so you get up in a huff and you you abandon your miracle. Well, you know what? You're going to have to release some resurrection power into that miracle. And you can do that. You can do that right now in the name of Jesus. I release, I release in Jesus' name resurrection power back into your miracle in Jesus' name. Because you need the power of God. You need the power of Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is incubating over your situation. But you know what? It's not all up to God. God has done all he's going to do. And now it's up to you and me to access, to bring our miracles into the manifested realm of our physical bodies or the situation, depending upon what kind of miracle we need. Right? And so here we have the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, was hovering, cherishing, incubating over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Did you hear that? Then God said, the power of the spoken word. The Holy Spirit was there. He was available and he was incubating. He was cherishing. He was releasing his love, which is all about faith. Your faith is fueled by love. And, and without love, it, it, you cannot walk, operate in the level of faith you need to for this miracle. And I'm telling you, just giving you a heads up, Satan will try to get you out of that love and get you into hate with someone. That's one of his old tricks, but you know better than that. And so it says, then God said, and as soon as God said, the power of the Holy Spirit was released. It was released. And as soon as it was released, then there was light. Now, oh, and let's go on. And God saw that the light was good and God divided the light from the darkness. You know, people say, I will believe it when I see it. And I say, no, you won't, because that's not how a miracle happens. Miracles happen the opposite way. Do you know that? Do you know that? You first have to you first have to speak it. That's why Holy Spirit was waiting. That's what he was waiting for. He was waiting for the words of the Father. Let there be. And as soon as he said, let there be, the power of the Holy Spirit was released. And there was light. And then God saw the light. That's how it works, people. We first speak it and then we we speak it into being. And then we see it. That's how a miracle operates. So you need God on the scene for your miracle. And it's available to you. God wants you to be healed. He wants you to obtain your miracle. But believe it or not, he's put the responsibility back in our hands. And so we praise God for this miracle working power that he has given to us. Amen. We'll be back in a little bit.
Becky Dvorak is an author, healing evangelist, prophetess, and dynamic preacher of the gospel. Through her ministry, she spreads an infectious faith for the miraculous. I have witnessed the blind see, the deaf hear, the mute speak. I'm here to help you heal in Jesus' name. Becky has learned how to enforce God's supernatural power, and she wants to share that with you. For more information, go to Becky Dvorak's website and follow her on Facebook. Welcome back to Empowered for Healing and Miracles. I've been teaching you today about how to create a miracle, and that's right, you are the one that creates your own miracle. And we've been taking this teaching from Genesis 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I want to finish up on this, and then we're going to pray for you and your situation that you're in. Amen? You know, we, we, we left off on where, where, where God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good. You know, this light, this light was not talking about the creation of the sun, moon, and stars. That happens down in verse 14. You know, sometimes we just take things for granted or we are not taught, and we could be taught even as young children, to know the difference of what is all being said in the scriptures. But this creation of the light was not the sun, moon, and stars. So what was the light? I believe the light was the manifested presence of God on the scene, and we need the manifested presence of God on the scene so that that light can come forth, the power of God's light, the revelation that the power of Holy Spirit can be released in full power. Amen? Amen? I've shared with you in, in a previous program weeks back about how we raised our son from the dead, and I taught you how to tap into the wisdom of Holy Spirit. Well, how did that happen? And I told you, I prayed in the spirit, and I prayed and I prayed until I broke into the realm of Holy Spirit, into God's realm, that manifested realm of God. And he spoke to me. He called me by name and he told me exactly what to do. And I'm telling you, it was God because it worked. It was right on. It was exactly what Marcos needed at that time to be raised from the dead. But you need that light in that dark situation. You're facing a situation that looks hopeless. It looks like it, there's no hope for you. But I'm telling you, with God, all things are possible. Everything, everything. He didn't say some things were possible. He said all things. Let your mind dwell on that for a, for a few moments. All things are possible. Everything is possible with God. Remember in the beginning of this teaching, in the beginning God created, in the beginning of your miracle, you need God. You don't just need God, but then, you know, in the midst of all the darkness, you need Holy Spirit to manifest in, in, in the middle of that darkness. Why? Because He is the creative dunamis power of God. And, and, and the miracles, miracles and healing, that's his terrain. So you need him released on the, on the scene into the situation. And then you need to speak the word of God out. You need to speak God's promise over and over and over. Some, I get asked, how many times do I speak it? Every time it comes to your mind, speak it. Speak it, speak it, speak it. Allow the power of the spoken word, that miraculous power of the spoken word to work for you. Allow those words to work. Amen. And if you will follow God's pattern of a miracle, I'm telling you, it will come about. It will. You have to be consistent. And you're like, well, that's really bold. Oh, yes, it's bold. It's way out there kind of faith, right? But it's the type of faith that produces miracles. And I believe that's what you're needing in your life. You are needing a miracle from God. But I'm telling you, God knows that you would, there would come a time in your life where you would need to know because you didn't know how to bring this miracle about. But now you've heard the truth and you can study it on your own. Open up your Bibles, open up the Word of God and read it and meditate on it. 
think about it, ponder upon it, and allow Holy Spirit to minister to you. And you start putting into practice what you do know. You do know you need God in the beginning of your miracle. You know you need the power of Holy Spirit on the scene. You know that you need to use the power of spoken words. You need to release. What did he say? He said here in the scriptures, he, he said over here, he said, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. He said, allow the light to come. You have to give Holy Spirit that permission to operate fully in your life. Take the limits off of God. You need a new heart. I'm telling you, somebody was reading one of my books with, and it, that has this message in it. And they were born with a heart that was missing a major part. And you know what? By putting this into practice in a week that from he was going to daily checkups and in a week, that part of his heart that was missing grew in one week. This was something that was impossible in the natural. But I'm telling you, with God, all things are possible. And that man's free. A life, a life of going to doctors every day. I mean, I'm sorry, every week, week after week after week after week, medicine, taking medicine and medical treatments and all of that. But here he is. He puts this message into practice and he's instantly, I mean, instantly delivered and, and a new heart. His heart grows what's been missing since he's been born. And he was, he, he's not, He's not a child anymore. He's an adult man. I'm telling you, the Word of God works. And He gave you, He created you to be like Him, to create, to create with the power of your words. And faith demands action. You not only speak it, but you put it into action. You have to live like you believe. And I'm telling you, for that man, he's been delivered and set free. So I know. There are those of you that need a mighty miracle. And right now, you just lift your hand up. You touch, you touch your hand with my hand on that screen right now in Jesus' name. And in the name of Jesus, I release that creative miracle working power of Holy Spirit into your body and that brain. There are people here that are listening to this that are dealing with brain injuries. You have problems with your brain. You have problems with your memory, memory loss. In the name of Jesus, I just release that recreative power of Holy Spirit to recreate that brain. And I say, in Jesus' name, you be healed. Your memory be restored for God's great glory. Amen and amen. I thank you for joining us this week. And I look forward to hearing from you at authorbeckydvorak.com. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. You be blessed, God loves you, and so do I.